Jeremy, where is the number one place in culture that conservatives cannot take right now that we should be trying to? I think we have three places in the culture that we simply cannot take, not, not quickly. The left didn't take them quickly. They had a generational plan and they executed it to perfection. We're gonna to have to do something much the same. Academia, obviously one of them. Conservatives have zero representation in academia. You may be able to think of that one conservative professor you had, that actually proves the point. That doesn't, that, that's the exception that proves the rule. Uh, academia, of course, is propped up by government money. Academia is propped up by conservatives who hold to credentialism and believe that they're, uh, that they're, that they're purchasing for their child a credential that will do them well. I had a conversation once with Secretary DeVos, our education secretary, wonderful woman, uh, and yet I think she had a blind spot in this particular area. She, she was at, we were at this very hoity-toity fundraiser, and people were asking her questions, all very well to do, and the question was always, don't we need trade schools for people who just aren't right for college? Don't we need a place for people who just aren't the college material? Don't they need to go learn how to weld or uh, you know, learn how to be garbage collectors? I actually found the whole thing distasteful. I mean, first of all, the trades are where all the money's at in the culture right now. If you want to make a good living, uh, learn how to weld um, because there's more welding jobs available that pay six yeah. figures uh, than there are in, for example, gender studies where there are no jobs that pay anything. <laughs> um, but that's not the only reason I found it objectionable. I found it objectionable because, well, frankly, more than half of all the small business owners in the country lack college degrees because some of the richest men in the world, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, Michael Dell, lack college degrees. I don't think we should be telling kids you're not college material, uh, so we want you to do something that we kind of look down on. We should be telling kids, you can do whatever you want. Drop out of college and be rich. Drop out of college and get some life experience. Drop out of college and start a business. Drop out of college and yes, go to trade school. But that's only one of the options. Uh, but the main way that we're going to defeat uh, the, the, the left in academia is to stop sending our kids there, stop letting them take on uh, debt that they will never be able to repay for a credential that's utterly meaningless so that professors can train them to believe things that you raise them not to believe. The second, of course, institution is the media. I actually think we're doing better there than in any of the three, uh, but we're still so far behind. Yes, the Daily Wire was the number one publisher, or the number one most engaged publisher in the world uh, on Facebook for the last three months, according to News Whip, uh, but that's still nothing compared to the reach that the left has. They control almost all of the engagements, almost all of the impressions on social media. And of course, they have their own media channels that are worth, you know, billions of dollars. We have so much work to do there, especially in the investigative realm, which is why we announced we're hiring three investigative journalists here tonight. The third place where obviously we have an unbelievable hill to climb is in entertainment media. And in entertainment, I include uh, music, I include television, I include film, basically all the things that we might call popular culture. Here, the left's domination of us is almost complete. You can count on your hands the films that have uh, openly represented the worldview of conservatives. And you can even point to some successful ones. American Sniper, the number one uh, best-selling, uh, the number one box office generating rated R film of all time, uh, which actually unseated the former number one rated R movie of all time, The Passion of the Christ. Both very similar stories in the sense that uh, it was a story that Americans wanted that Hollywood would never give them, that required a superstar actor turned director uh, who works outside the system to bring us. Hollywood, did they learn any lessons? Of course not, because that's not a lesson they want to learn. They like the polarization. They don't want your money, and they know you're a chump, so you'll give them your money even if they don't do anything to earn it. How much money? Well, Netflix alone spends $20 billion. That's $20,000 million on content every single year. That is one single network on the left. All told, the production budget of Hollywood, I don't know if it's even knowable, it's probably well over $150 billion every year. This is why you wind up with cuties on Netflix. This is why you wind up with all the anti-Iraq war movies when George W. Bush was president. It's why every single election cycle of my lifetime, we've gotten feature films about how bad the Republican is. We've gotten documentaries about how bad the Republican is. We've gotten documentaries about how great every leftist figure is. Why does everybody know Ruth Bader Ginsburg? Because she's a cultural cult figure, because Hollywood will spend billions and billions and billions of dollars promulgating their worldview and selling you their point of view, whether you want it or not. So what are we going to do where Hollywood is concerned? Well, that's where we have, I think, the biggest hill to climb. Uh, and that's the next announcement I'll make about the Daily Wire and the ways that we're going to bring value to you in exchange for your subscription. In 2021, the Daily Wire will be producing 
fictional content. We're going to be the first in our space uh, with an SVOD platform to really go at this in a major way. We've already acquired the rights to our first feature film, uh, which we will be announcing to you in the coming weeks. We are working on a script with Andrew Clavin for our first series. We are going to, again, can we, can we bring you $20 billion worth of content the way that Netflix can? Well, not today. It's a 40-year path if we're going to do what the left did and assert ourselves in all of these areas. But we're going to lead the way. We're going to get out ahead of our comfort zone. We're going to start making the content that we know has to be made. And we're trusting that you guys will follow. 